that were forced out of their homes by abuse, but when they're out on their own, it's a whole different set of problems for victims of domestic violence. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan joins us. Kyle, there's a fundraiser so these victims can send their kids to school, but also pay to get them there. All right, and that's because victims of domestic violence are very much like the rest of us. They have to travel, and oftentimes their kids, their students, have to tra travel even far farther to get away from their abusers. Imagine danger ruling your world. So the abusers have no access to these children. A checkered past, a fear hanging over your head, or your children's. Because typically if the abuser can't get to the parent, the first thing they go for is the babies. So yes, it's definitely important to, to protect them and to protect their families. A harsh reality for many victims of domestic violence who toil with the potential of falling into the wrong hands. I was in the domestic violence shelter, so I know what little supply of everything that they have. Sparkle Johnson knows sometimes avoidance costs money. This is the first ever back to school bash for those children. She's trying to raise money for survivors and their children. A back to school drive scheduled for August the 4th at New Covenant Baptist Church. One of the main things they're asking for are gas cards. Sometimes students are moved to remote schools away from abusers where they're unlikely to be found, but covering that distance costs money. Detective Timothy Dickerson knows it well. He works with victims every day. They need gas, you know, they need, they have transportation, but they don't have the money to, uh, the resources to, uh, to provide it. So this thing that uh, raising money, raising the uh, gas cards, promoting that, and um, uh, school supplies is very good um, avenue to go down. Where these children go to school is understandably kept a secret. We know they probably can't get into the schools, but they can probably catch them down the street or on the bus stop. A real danger and a need that can't wait. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. And again, that is New Covenant Baptist Church, August the 4th. It starts at 10 in the morning and goes till 6 p.m. Also, if you can't make it on those days, New Covenant is actually accepting drop-offs. Reporting in the newsroom, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.